guys, we have a 2023 Skidoo Expedition LE super wide that needs to have a bunch of accessories installed. We have a belly pan, ski skins, cargo box, the wraparound front heavy duty bumper and the heavy duty rear bumper with hitches for the front and back. Thanks for stopping by. Continuing our build series on the 2023 Skidoo Expedition super wide. Our next step is installing the heavy duty rear bumper. This is a, uh, an aluminum ex extrusion that takes the, uh, the towing capacity from this machine from being uh, 1200 pounds up to 1500 pounds, adds a heavier rear receiver hitch. Unfortunately, it still only uses the, uh, the one and a quarter inch hardware instead of going up to the two inch like the older machines did, but it's still a, a much beefier style hitch than, the, than what comes on these machines stock. Again, instructions are from www.instructions.brp.com. This is the, uh, the booklet that we downloaded and printed off. Takes you through step by step. I've looked through it already and everything looks fairly straightforward. But the most complicating thing that we're gonna have to get into here is we have to drill a hole in the uh, side of the tunnel. Drilling one hole in the side of the tunnel to mount this heavy duty bumper is much easier than the previous chassis. I put the hitch on my machine. Actually, there's a video showing installing the heavy duty hitch on a uh, 2019 XU chassis, 20 inch wide expedition. And it's far more complicated than it is to do on, uh, on these newer machines. Let's get into it. Step one in the book says that we have to remove the old hitch. This uses a, uh, an Allen key or hex key style, and there are nuts on the back side. We take our uh, hex key in the electric ratchet, and a half inch wrench fits perfect. That seems odd to me. It should be 13 mil or 12 mil, but. The instructions say to, uh, to save this hardware, we'll end up having to reuse some of it. Doubler plate, we need to save that. And we can compare the two hitch assemblies to each other. Now that we have our old rear hitch removed, depending on which machine you have, you may have to cut out the plastic around the snow flap here. This one already has a notch for the rear hitch. However, uh, if you have the Ex Expedition Extreme, then it doesn't come with the notch. You'd have to, have to, uh, to notch it out. We slide our uh, new hitch in, take our backing plate, put it in behind. I have four new nylock nuts that we'll be using to reinstall these bolts with. The instructions very clearly state not to reuse any of the nylock uh, locking hardware. You probably can get away with doing it once or twice, but since we have the new hardware, we may as well install it. To judge whether you can reuse nylock hardware or not is uh, how much resistance it puts up when you reinstall it. If you still feel that you're getting positive engagement in the in nylon locking ring, then uh, there shouldn't really be any trouble reusing the hardware. But if you can spin it on through the nylon by hand, then definitely it needs to be replaced. Unfortunately, the power ratchet that I'm using isn't going to fit in there. We do have another option though. I've got a nice little uh, ratcheting wrench that works well for getting on uh, or getting into tight spaces with an Allen key. We'll put the power ratchet on the back side. That's where we're supposed to be power ratcheting anyways. Now that we've got the rear hitch bolted in place, we've got to start work on the side. And this is where things get a little bit tricky. Not too bad on this particular machine, but a little bit tricky. We've got a bolt here that we have to pull out at the back and we have one more bolt hole that we have to drill at the front. This bolt will be getting replaced with a longer one that bolts through the rear bumper. Now we need to locate where we're gonna drill the hole just above the running board here. The lighting in this building is not the greatest, but there is a small plus sign stamped in the tunnel right there. And that's where we need to drill a hole. I can see it to drill it. Now, one other issue that we've got to keep in mind is that the, uh, the track basically passes right behind this. So we don't want to go jabbing the drill bit in there and making a big mess out of the track. 
that was an eighth inch hole that I put through kind of as a pilot. And then we've uh, got the six mil or quarter inch that uh, they say is necessary for the bolt to go through. I've got a larger drill bit. You just touch the hole, make sure that there's no burr. Get all the grinding off there so we don't grind it into the paint. And now we're ready to slip the uh, this side of the bumper in place. We've already got the hole drilled on the other side just to get it done. So we'll mount our uh, bumpers. There is a left and a right. So you gotta make sure that you've got the right style. This is the one for this side. You'll notice that there's a notch here designed to clear this bolt. There is a clearance hole here and here that goes over these little locating pins that stick out. And we've got rib nuts pulled in the extrusion that we'll be bolting to. We've got our extrusion cap that we put in. Gives it a little bit of a finished. And our bumper slips in place. Start with our end cap bolt. Just to kind of hold everything approximately where it is. Two uh, Torx, large Torx bolts that need to go through the hitch, through the bumper extrusion. We've got new nylock nuts. We take our half inch wrench and ratchet. And we don't want to tighten these up all the way just yet, but we want to snug them up. So they kind of hold everything in alignment. We've got our M6 bolts with a washer. It needs to go through from the inside of the tunnel out and uh, to affix the uh, rest of the bumper to the tunnel. These fasteners come pre-loctited. So if you have to remove the bumper and reinstall it, you probably want to install fresh Loctite. And again, we're uh, lined up with the track at the front here. A little bit of a challenge. Kind of lift up just a little bit on the track. Now that we've got all of our bolts started, we can uh, go in from the backside and snug them up with the rack. Get up in behind the, uh, the track here. We'll use our uh, handy dandy little micro ratchet to, uh, to snug up these last few fasteners. We've got both sides bolted in place, but we've hit one little snag here. And uh, the problem is this bolt is not quite aligned. It won't go in here. And if I'm looking at the hitch, when I mounted it, I got it just a little bit crooked. So these bolts are still not completely tight. I'm going to back the four bolts that are attaching this hitch or that are attaching this receiver to the back of the snow machine. And we'll give it a little bit of a jog and uh, should be able to fit that in place. Got the half inch wrench on the power ratchet and we'll put the uh, little micro ratchet together here on the allen head of the, the bolt. I think we can safely say that uh, a good step is to not snug those bolts up. Now we just need to get that to uh, slip on the back side of that bolt. Now that we've got everything assembled, I think we can snug the rest of this stuff up at the back. Now that we're all bolted up at the back here, we'll snug these bolts under the chassis back up in place. And that is our heavy duty bumper all installed. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Hey, if you got any other suggestions of accessories we should be putting on this machine, let us know in the comments. And uh, check out the link in the description for the playlist for this whole installation video series. And also check out for my new merch store that I've got set up. Thanks a lot for watching.